Hi guys, my name is Onohu Ai and I'm a Canva Certified Creative. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to design on your mobile phone using the Canva app. This tutorial is specifically for beginners only, so let's jump right into Canva. Before you start designing on your phone, you need to have the Canva app installed in your phone. And to do that, you have to go to Play Store and in the search bar, type in Canva. You're going to select the first one, the popular, definitely that is the Canva app. If you've used Canva before or you have Canva already on your phone, it is going to show you open. But if you haven't, then you have to click on install. In my case, I'm going to just tap on open. After successfully creating your account, this is going to be the page you'll see whenever you open the Canva app. On the home tab, you would find different templates in different document types. You can also search for a template using the Canva search bar or by using any of the listed categories appearing on the screen. The design tab will contain all the designs you will create. It will contain the name of the design and the document type. When you tap on the three dots, you will have other options you can utilize for the selected design. You can also change how you would like to view your designs in this tab. You have two options. You can view as grid or list. Lastly, you have the search bar. This saves you lots of time by making it easier for you to search for specific designs you have created in the past. This is the Canva Pro tab. The Canva Pro tab is an in-app landing page that shares updates about the Canva app, new features about Canva Pro, and what you can do with Canva Pro. Lastly, we have the menu tab. This tab contains your account settings, all the tools and features of Canva. There are all the tabs you can find here. Your most recent designs are stored in the recent design tab. Designs someone else shares with you will be found in the shared with you folder. You also have the all your folders tab, which also have sub tabs in it. Likes are elements or templates you have liked in the past. Purchased contains any element you have purchased in the past. Audios, videos or photos you bring into Canva will be in the Upload tab. Then you have the Trash, where all deleted items will be kept for a certain period of time until they are permanently deleted. Canva also has a brand kit. This brand kit is where you can manage your client's brand assets, things like fonts, brand colors and brand logo. The Content Planner is a tool that can help you schedule your posts to at least 9 different platforms and you can do this directly from the Canva mobile app. It's time for us to create our very first design using a template. Now there are different ways that you can start creating your design so you can see your design editor and that has to do with selecting a template that you'd like to design or a blank document. But we want to start this design using a template and I want to design a YouTube thumbnail so I could go here and scroll and get YouTube thumbnails or I could just go to the search bar and type in YouTube thumbnail here we're going to have a couple of designs that we can choose from so I like this particular design and we are just going to use it to open the design, just tap on it. Now that your design is open, what you want to do is you want to modify it to suit your brand, maybe change the photo, change the text, and maybe even change the font style. In my case, I'm going to tap on this because I don't like it, so I will just delete it. Now I'm going to take this and push it to the left. I'm going to change the text to how. No dose. We're going to go to the formats and I will make it bold. I will delete this one and I will drag this onto this place here. This is the logo. I will just drag it down here. If I have my logo, I'll put it right here or here. Now I need to import an image. To import an image, I just need to use this plus button. Whenever you see a plus button like this in Canva, it means add something, an element or a photo into your design. And from here, I'm going to go to photos. 
And I have an image that I have already used here, but I'm going to still show you how I got that. I just type noodles. And you can see you have different photos right here. So I will just select this one. Now you can see my photo is here, but I want to put this photo inside a frame. So I have to import a frame. Look at the plus button again. This time I will go to element and I will just scroll down to frames and I will tap on see all. Now I will choose this one. Here is it. To drop your photo inside your frame, all you need to do is drag your photo and just place it around the frame. It will automatically snap into the frame. I'm going to increase this and then I want to adjust the photo inside the frame. So I'm going to double tap and increase it like this. Great. Now I'm going to duplicate the frame and then I'll change the color to this. The next thing I'll do is I'll position it to the back. Increases a little bit. This is good. Then I feel like I want to add a button to this. So I will change the position of this. I'll drag it over here. I will also increase it and I will tilt it this way. Now I want to add a button to this design. So what I'm going to do is use the plus button again, go over to elements and I'm going to use the square. Now I will just reduce it and bring it around here. Now, if you want to increase, you want to zoom in, all you need to do is pinch your screen and you'll be able to do that. Now, what I'm going to do next is duplicate this and I will just bring it right here and I'm going to type in. Now I can position this text in the middle. I will just go over to format and select center. I'll drag everything, and make sure it's in the middle of the text box. I will change this text. Great. So I'm also going to go to the format and change it to bold. Subscribe. I also want it to be bold. So I will go to format and I will make it bold. Here is it. How to cook noodles. I will go to format. I'll make it italics. And then I will go to spacing and I'm going to increase or reduce the line spacing. So I need to reduce the line spacing to this. Almost done. The next thing I want to do is an arrow pointing towards my food. So I will use the plus button again and go to elements. Here I'm going to type arrow. So I have it here already and I'm going to use this one. Now my arrow is here. I would just turn it this way, rotate it a little bit and place it around here. Now we have successfully created a design from a template, making our design even unique. To make our text look better, we have to style and also format it. To style and format this text, what we're going to do first is to look at it to be sure that the color is how we want it to be. And also that the font is the right font we want to use for our design. I like the font and I also do like the colors. So we just need to style and format this properly. I'm going to start by tapping on this and going to format. I like it being bold, so I'll just make it italics. And this is cool. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll go over to spacing. And then I can increase the spacing or reduce it. In this case, I'm going to reduce it to 89. It's readable, it's, you can see it and you can easily read it. Now everything seems pretty okay. Now you can properly align this text by using one of Canvas feature called Tidy Up, but it works in different ways. Let me show you how to do that. Now I'm just going to select the text and then I'm going to go over to position, scroll up and I'll say Tidy Up. Now the spacing between each text is the same. What I'm going to do is go back and say align element to the left. Now this is proper. The next thing I want to do is to select all of them again and drag them 
to the middle until I see the red line telling me that this is in the middle. Now I just want to adjust the subscribe button, the text, to make sure it's in the middle right here. Now let's use one of Canva's feature called Notch. I want to bring this button down so I would tap on the text to hold it and also on the elements. Now it's done. I would search for Notch. Here is Notch and I can bring this by pixels down or up. So I'm going to bring this down. This is better. Now we're getting closer to aligning our text and element properly. Now we're going to select everything again and bring it back to the middle. Now we have aligned our text in our design. Let's add some effect to the text. Select the text, go over to effects. You have different effects you can add here. I'm going to select shadow. When you tap on shadow, you also have the filter button. You can just tap on it. And then you can change the offset, you can change the direction of shadow. You can add blow or reduce blow. And you can also add a color. So I'm going to add a color and I'm going to make the color black. So you can see the shadow right there. Now you can change the offset and the direction. You can increase the blur and the transparency. Now we've added more depth to our design. You can also group and ungroup elements in Canva. So to group an element in Canva, all you need to do is select the element you want to group. So I'm going to select this and this and this text and then the element I tap on done and I can find this group button here so I would just tap on it now I can also ungroup them by just tapping on it and go into ungroup and I would just ungroup them now that we've learned a lot it is time to create our first design from scratch we're going to be creating an Instagram story so you can search for Instagram story here or you can just select this one. So I would just select this and I would choose blank templates. So I would just tap on the plus button here. I want to add an image, so I would use a grid. I would just resize it and just bring it around here. Then I need to add an image to this. I'm going to go to replace and in photos, I will search for fashion and I would just select this one. I want to add another element. I will use elements tab and I will add the rectangle. Now I will just place it a little bit behind this to make it look like a background. I will go over to position and I will position it to the back. I will also change the color of that and choose a color from the photo. So I will use this one. Let's change the color for the background. I will tap on the background and go to color and I will choose a lighter color. Maybe this or this. Now it's time to add some elements to our designs. I'm also going to tap on this and I will duplicate it, reduce it this way and place it here. Then it's time to add a text. I'm going to tap on the plus button and I will go to text, add a heading. I will increase it, tap on it and I will type in sale. Now I can go over to format and I can convert this to uppercase. I will make it bold and I will increase it. I will just drag it to this place. If it's not proper, I will use my nudge button. Now this is okay. I will change the color to the background color. The next thing I will do is to add another text. So I will go over to the plus add a subheading and I'm going to type new arrivals. I will use this button to rotate it this way and I will increase it. I'll go over to spacing and I will increase the letter spacing. Now I will go back to format and I'll convert it to uppercase. Drag it and bring it right here. I will duplicate that text and drag it to this place. This time around, I'm going to use my notch to push it a little bit to the right. Now I'm going to type now selling. 
I'm going to make this look better by aligning every single element. Let's start from the cell, we'll go over to notch, I'll bring it down a little bit and push it to the left. I will select the now selling, push it a little bit to the right and this one too, to the right. Now I'm going to select everything here, select this, this and this and I will go over to notch and then I will notch it this way. Now I'm also going to bring it down like this. Now let's add a logo to this. I'm just going to say plus. I'll go over to elements here. I will select this and I will just bring it down like this and reduce it. I will take it to the top here and then I will add a text. I will just add a heading and I will type your logo. And I'll just put it here. I'll change the color to this. I'll make sure it's in the middle. And then I will add another text. And I will increase this. Then I will go over to effects. I'll go to shape and choose curve. I'll tap on the filter button here and I will use negative 17. And then I'll go to nudge and I'll take it to the top. Now I'm going to add another button to say swipe up. I'm going to select this, duplicate it. I'm going to bring it down here and I will type swipe up. I will change the color to this. I will reduce it and I will just add this shape. So I will duplicate it and bring it down here. I will reduce it. I'll go to position. I'll send it to back. Tap here. Change the color of my text to this. I'll drag it to the middle of my document. And that's it. Now we have successfully created our own template from scratch. When you are done with your design, it is time for you to share, save, download or export your design. Canva automatically saves your design, but there is another option I found useful when using the Canva mobile app. When I tap on this button here and I go to save, when I have showed it of internet, this automatically saves my design again. When you tap on the three dots here and you scroll, you're going to find the share button. When you tap on the share button, you're going to find lists or emails or team members that you can share your design with. We also have two other buttons here, this and this button. This one is the download button. The download button automatically downloads your design without any settings. This is the export button. When you tap on the export button, it gives you options of how you want to share, save your design. It gives you option of the format you want to use to save your design. It is different from the download button, which automatically downloads your design when you tap on it. And that's all about it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned how to design with Canva on your mobile phone. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can connect with me on YouTube, DWC Academy, where I share tips and tricks on how to design with Canva. Don't forget, seven days without Canva makes one week. And until then, I dare.